Hi everyone, welcome to my garden here in Toronto in zone 6 and I am so excited to share my garden with you today. It has been a very very hot day today and um, it, there has been really really a little rain all throughout this summer and uh, the gardens have suffered a little bit i must say but we did end up getting a little bit of rain yesterday so uh, things are looking looking good at the moment and i just wanted to take you along and really show you what's starting to bloom in my garden what's happening there is a lot of um, flowers that are happy and blooming some are struggling but um, i kind of want to take you along and show you what's happening in my garden so if you're new to my channel, I try to post weekly videos on what's happening in my garden, what plants are blooming, and I just want to take you along and show you what's happening in my garden. So the very first um, garden I'm going to show you is my front garden bed. So this is in the front of my house. I have two beds. I have one on, um, on the right side and I have one on the left side, and they both have different plants different but similar plants and I kind of like the asymmetry of plants where um, you know there there is something interesting to look at on both sides as opposed to them being identical but I do have repetition of plant uh, plants throughout this bed and I like doing that a lot with my plants so um, right at the start like this is a pathway that goes out into my um, into my grass area and my front yard I I kind of have these two Queen of Hearts Brunera and I must say I'm really really impressed at how fast these plants grew and they are filling in and looking really gorgeous I like the size of the leaves and uh, and the brightness they offer and really really pretty at nighttime as well because of the silvery white leaves they really like pop at night um, and I love 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 this plant i love the shape and it's huge and actually it's blooming again for me so really nice to see that it bloomed earlier in the spring um, and it's blooming again so really really pretty and i highly recommend this this plant if you don't have it in your garden already um, so along the edge here on both sides i have lithodora planted so it has beautiful blue flowers and it has been blooming a lot um, as you can see, it has really pretty uh, blue flowers and I also have some sedum starts that I've added to this area as well. So they're still pretty young. They're going to take some time to fill in, but uh, regardless, they are, you know, everywhere a little bit along this path. And I like how that looks and I hope in time it's going to fill in and look really nice. Um, so what's really happening in my garden right now? Lots of lilies have started to bloom and it's feeling uh, really, really um, like it's it's the heart of summer, it's beginning. And, and lilies always signal that for me. They bloom in July and there is many varieties that I have that bloom at different times. So this is the Ruby Spider Lily by Proven Winners. I love the vibrant, beautiful red color it has. And it looks really, really gorgeous in my front garden. I love how big the blooms are. It has been blooming for a couple of weeks now. And I like how that one looks. Um, and it's full of flowers. It's one of the earlier blooming lilies in my garden. Um, Supertunias have been beautiful. They have been filling in very much in my garden. And I think I'm going to repeat these next year as well because they have required no care and they've just been sprawling and filling in and and i love how they look um i also have a shropshire lad rose climbing rose planted against the arch on both sides so that's symmetrical and it is starting to bloom uh, and it's looking really pretty i love the peachy apricot bloom on it it's very very pretty and my gallardias are blooming and looking really nice uh, lavender is still blooming and it's looking really gorgeous in the front here. I have two phenomenal lavender on both sides of this arch here and they are just beautiful. They have been blooming and looking gorgeous. Um, and I also have uh, lots of verbena bonariensis planted here which is blooming. So as I was saying pollinators absolutely love this verbena bonariensis plant 
as well as the lavender. They've been all over this um, and really, really fun to watch all kinds of bees and butterflies on these on these plants. I have my Munstead Wood Rose, which is also blooming and looking really, really pretty in there. And I also have the Rock and Blue Salvia, which is blooming and looking gorgeous in this garden. It's filling in a lot. It's being eaten by something here and um, I'm not really sure what. I think it's probably earwigs and um, that's okay. Um, it's it's they're doing that to a lot of my plants so uh, it's happening um, and then I also have this pretty geranium cranes bill that's been blooming and it's looking really really pretty in this garden as well um, and then I have um, lots and lots of cone flowers that are blooming here and they are just looking stunning as you can see this is just summer to me and there was a beautiful monarch on this cornflower yesterday and it looked really 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 gorgeous and I love how this flanks um, my driveway and it adds so much height and beauty um, to this part of the garden and I just love how this looks um, and then I also have uh, lots of salvia that's still blooming um, and doing its thing and uh, also lots more cornflowers here as you can see this is so colorful, so full of coneflowers and liatris that's blooming. Um, I also have the um, luminary uh, ultraviolet phlox, which is also blooming and looking really, really good. Um, so lots of summer perennials are blooming and looking great, as you can see. And I also have lots of alyssum that's filling in and spilling over and looking gorgeous in this garden. So uh, again, more Supertunia uh, bubblegum vista that's blooming and filling in, just looking gorgeous. Like I love how the driveway bed has turned out and it's looking really, really good. My rock garden is looking really full as well. It has, everything is filling in and it's kind of touching each other. I have little blooms in here. As you can see, they are so pretty and so cute and I love how this this little rock garden has shaped and looked and considering it was only started in spring so it's doing really 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 well and then I have uh, I hope the Sun is not um, ruining this video a little bit but uh, I'm out it's kind of um, early evening here late evening to early even uh, end of um, like six ish and it's kind of really really pretty out here and uh wanted to take this take some time and show you what the garden was doing i have dianthus here that's blooming really 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 pretty blooms i love the the two colors on these blooms i don't know if, I, if it's focusing but here they are they are so beautiful and also the cat mint this is cat's pajamas nepeta it's also blooming looking really really pretty in this front garden as well um, let me show you the other side now. So moving on to the other side of the bed. Um, again, lots of Verbena bonariensis is blooming here, as you can see. I also have um, beautiful quickfire fab hydrangea that's blooming and it's looking really, really beautiful. I love the blooms on it. I love how pretty they are and I'm glad I have planted that in my garden and I can't wait to see it grow over time. Um, and I also have some allium here that is blooming. This is Serendipity, I think, by Proven Winners and it's beautiful. I also have lots of calendula planted beside it and it's looking really, really pretty. Um, and here is another look at it just gorgeous I love how this garden is looking and feeling right now um, and then on this side I have a beautiful rose in bloom isn't that beautiful the yellow is so pretty I also have a beautiful moonshine yarrow that is beaming in the garden at the moment and it's looking gorgeous um, geranium roseanne is continuing to bloom this is a new plant as well but it's full of blooms and it's going to keep going all summer i know that about this plant i love it so much and then i have beautiful tiger swirl lilies here that are blooming aren't they gorgeous 
and they look so pretty with the sea holly it's just stunning combination i love how that looks and i also have more moonshine yarrow in the back there and um, i also have firelight hydrangea that is um, opening its blooms and it's looking really really pretty and i also have a purple phlox in there and lots and lots of cone flowers. I mean, they're pretty, they're so gorgeous. Um, and also I have a lot of glads that are opening. These are gladiolus bulbs that I planted in a nice Hawaiian kind of mix. So there is a coral one that's opening and then there is a red one that's about to open. Isn't that gorgeous? I love, love, love these so much. And I also have some other lilies here that are blooming i think these are orange smoothie lilies and then i also have lichen flowers here that are blooming and my little side garden here is full of ridbeckia it's beautiful and borage so this is what's happening here and i also have a beautiful red cone flower that is blooming here isn't that gorgeous love how this looks and I also have some hollyhocks that are, something is eating it, but it's still blooming. There's a white one and then there is a pink one. It's beautiful. And I absolutely love barrage. It's beautiful um, and gorgeous. And the flowers, leaves, everything is edible. So love eating it. And I love seeing the bees so happy on this plant here. So, so this is what the front garden bed is looking like today. It is so peaceful so lush so green in here i love how this looks i love what it's doing um, and let me just walk over and show you my other driveway garden and then i'll take you to my side yard and show you what's happening there oh and i forgot to mention my quick fire standard is starting to open up as well and this is a new new plant in my garden and it's doing really well and it looks like it's happy here so I'm so excited to see it open its buds and blooms and its beautiful lace cap blooms so let me now so let me now show you this other side garden that I have a lot more echinacea has opened here and it's looking absolutely stunning here isn't that beautiful just love how this looks I also have some balloon flowers that have opened and these are looking amazing. I love the color of balloon flowers and what the buds look like. Aren't they so beautiful? They look like little balloons here. They are beautiful. Um, lots of buds on my sedum as well. So, um, so exciting to see all these beautiful, beautiful blooms. The yarrow is kind of done blooming. I'm gonna have to come out here and deadhead it a bit, but um, it was very, really pretty for a few weeks. I also have lots of uh, hydrangea blooms that are starting to open. And this hydrangea is starting to look really, really pretty as well. And then I have Rose of Sharon, which is going to bloom soon. You can see the buds are swelling and it's going to be covered in purple blooms. This is the... Um, I think this is the uh, uh, the blue chiffon rose of Sharon. So excited to see this one bloom. It has beautiful double. So going to walk over and show you what the backyard is doing. The side yard is going. So I have a huge garden bed on the side of my house as well. So this is my side yard garden, and it is mostly a full sun garden, at least up to more than the halfway point, and then it becomes more part shade. So in the full sun area, I have lots and lots of beautiful flowers planted. So I have my beautiful daisies. They've been blooming so well and I have to come out here and deadhead them. The dianthus was really, really pretty. This had beautiful blooms. It was covered in these beautiful purple blooms. I have to again, come out and deadhead it so it can flush out new blooms. Uh, but lots of echinacea here and lots of other beautiful sun-loving perennials. So I have a big patch of balloon flowers here as well. And they are just absolutely beautiful. The only thing about these is that you have to come out and clean this, these buds because they start to look really bad once they are spent. 
but other than that i mean it's a beautiful beautiful plant with a gorgeous cup pop of color i have lots of echinacea in the back that's kind of uh, blooming i also have a quick fire hydrangea in there that is also still quite young and it's blooming and it's looking really pretty i can't wait for it to get taller and fill that corner it's going to look amazing and then i also have some beautiful flocks there it's a nice moby purple as well and it's just stunning and i also have black eyed susan there i think this is goldstrom that's about to open and it's going to fill that area with a pop of yellow and i have another one on this side that is also opening and it's just going to be so cheery and beautiful with the yellow blooms here and i also have some more cornflower that's white uh, lots of Veronica as well and uh, and yeah lots and lots of blooms I have more lilies here there's this so here is another beautiful lily that's blooming in my garden it is a gorgeous gorgeous pink color and it's just pretty and then lots and lots more cone flowers are blooming and looking look so beautiful and they are just filling in and adding so much color in this garden now that the poppies are out of this this area things are doing really well i also have some dahlias that are starting to bloom but the real stars of the show right now are these lilies i have these beautiful uh chicago i think piece uh, lilies that are all yellow and they are beautiful and huge and i also have more tiger swell lilies here that are blooming um, and just looking gorgeous I also have some tree lilies in the back that I planted um, early in this earlier in the spring, I believe, um, or was it, I think it was in the fall. Um, they are looking stunning as well. They are so huge, beautiful, beautiful pink blooms, and they are just looking gorgeous there. And they're only going to get taller each year. So the first year, the tree lilies are about three feet tall. And then each year they get taller and they can get up to six feet tall. So I'm excited about those. I have beautiful liatris that is coming into bloom there. I also have beautiful heliopsis in the back there and coreopsis that is blooming and just looking beautiful and stunning in the back there. And this is the, the part where um, there are some new plants that I've added. Um, I have also Easy Peasy uh, Rose by Proven Winners. This is a beautiful uh, pink, bright pink rose. They are tiny, tiny roses, double roses, but in these beautiful clusters, they add a nice pop of pink color. And I've added this right in the front of the border here. And they are looking really, really pretty against the yellow. I just love this combination. It's so, so beautiful and vibrant. Um, and, and I also have some delphinium in the back there that's planted. I also have some pomelo um, lambs here. This is beautiful and attractant, so attractive to the pollinators. The bees have been all over this Hamelo uh, lambs here ever since I have planted it in this spot. So I have two of these planted here and I also have some geranium roseanne planted at the base of it. So they're adding, they will spill in and, and fill in all the, all the gaps with these beautiful purple flowers. Um, and other than that, lots and lots of uh, beautiful echinacea is opening in this bed and it's looking gorgeous. I have uh, lots of blueberries here in containers. And here is my strawberry container filling in nicely and blooming and looking really pretty as well and lots and lots of blueberry plants in containers and some more petunias um, and here I have also some chili pepper plants and I have a little black chili pepper that is that is needs to be harvested and it's really really nice and I think that one is going to be really hot and I have another tree lily here, which is kind of bent over, but it has the most beautiful yellow bloom and it's looking really, 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 really pretty. It has two blooms this year and we'll see how this one does next year. I also have some heliops, uh, some um, fall sunflower that's also blooming here and uh, um, some marigold that is starting to bloom here as well. And it's looking really pretty. Um, and yeah, so the backyard garden is also doing okay. 
Uh, it's doing a lot better after some of the rain we received yesterday. Uh, this is the endless summer bloomstruck hydrangea, which is perked up and is doing well. It was looking very sad in the last little while because of lack of water, but it's happier now, so it makes me happy. Um, and then I also have some uh, beautiful ligularia that I planted here, which I'm struggling to keep moist but it is starting to show me some signs of blooming which is nice it has beautiful daisy like flowers so they look really pretty and i'm hoping it it stays alive and it's happy in this spot and i want to try and keep it hydrated but uh, it's been a challenge lately to do that uh, my backyard garden lots of hostas are hanging in there and doing their thing i have dogwoods here i have hostas that are doing well and um, things have perked up after that little bit of the rain that we received so it's nice um, and I have some more lilies that are that are also opening over here so let me show you what they look like these are a beautiful corally kind of almost like a dusty rose color and they look beautiful with the geranium roseanne and I also have some bee balm that I planted here. This is the native bee balm and it bloomed and it's kind of gone over a bit now. So I also have the Invincible Spirit 2 Hydrangea that is just starting to bloom. It's a new plant as well in my garden and it's just starting to bloom and it's looking really, really pretty. Um, and lots, lots more Echinacea over there that's also starting to bloom. Um, and on this side, I also have <laughs> A false sunflower that's been blooming for a while now and more echinacea is starting to uh, bloom here as well and I have a beautiful strawberry uh, echinacea this is a different kind of flower the center is also pink and and it's really pretty it's a nice coral pink and lots and lots of echinacea starting to bloom and it's looking really really pretty I have more echinacea on this side and you can tell I love echinacea. Uh, it is my number one favorite plant and I will share all about it in another video. But I just love, love that plant so much. And I also have some nigella that's blooming here and it's looking really, really pretty. Very delicate and pretty flower and it's looking gorgeous. Lots of tomatoes. I can see so many tomatoes on this plant and uh, they are looking really really good at the moment um, I, I also have some wildness happening here with redbackia and and cone flowers and bell flowers and uh, lots and lots of uh, sunflowers about to open here so excited i think by the time i share with you my next video those should be open and look gorgeous so lots of tomatoes to come in my garden and here's a big cucumber that's growing. So I need to harvest it at some point, but uh, I still have some that I harvested that I need to finish. So I'm gonna leave it on a little while longer. And then going in here, um, also lots of plants are blooming. I have Cleome here that is starting to, to kind of settle and bloom now and lots of Rudbeckia. I also have tree lilies that I planted in the back there that are starting to bloom and I'm gonna have to step in there and show you the blooms because I think they are stunning beautiful beautiful pink color just gorgeous I love tree lilies and they have done really well for me this is the first year only three feet tall but they are only gonna get taller so I'm excited about that lots of fall sunflowers as well here and then I have more cone flowers there that are blooming and looking gorgeous um what else is happening here let's see a lot more lilies have started to bloom in here as well look at the color of this one isn't that gorgeous love 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 this color of the lily as well just so beautiful um some more yarrow that's blooming here and i also have more bee balm that's blooming starting to bloom there um and uh this this area here is slowly settling lots of new plants here that are slowly settling and doing good uh, so things have started to feel better after some of the rain we got yesterday and i have to keep up with the watering keep them happy 
a lot more coneflowers are blooming here as well and I have a bluebird lace cap hydrangea that's also blooming there it was very unhappy but now it's happy because of the rain it got and it's beautiful and I want to share with you a bloom on my calicanthus this has just decided to bloom for me this plant is in its second season in my garden and it didn't bloom last year but it's blooming this year this is calicanthus this is aphrodite by proven winners has a beautiful magnolia like bloom that blooms all summer so i'm excited about this plant and i can't wait for it to get bigger and be full of blooms in in a couple of years i hope um so yeah that's what the garden is doing right now this is my veg garden lots and lots of produce happening here i have some beautiful bush beans growing i have some peas that i need to come out and harvest i have lots of greens um, and more cucumbers lots and lots of cucumbers are starting to grow and look beautiful in my garden and i can't wait to harvest lots and lots of tomatoes are green and they are going to be ready for harvest soon i've planted a lot of varieties this year so i'm excited especially for the black ones and also uh i have eggplant here that is that is starting to grow and uh lots and lots of plants that are growing here it's just filling in nicely and i have some runner beans that are growing here i have some other vegetables these are some bitter gourds that are growing here so lots in my veg garden as well lots to harvest soon um, excited about how this is doing as well i have to come out here and water it later tonight but other than that it's looking great I also have a zucchini that is that is pollinated and growing so yeah things are looking really 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 good in my garden right now despite all the all the drought we've had um, I'm happy with the way things are and with that I wanted to thank you so much for joining me today for another weekly garden tour and I hope everyone is doing well keeping well and enjoying their gardens just as much as I am and I hope um, to catch you in my next video. Thank you again so much for watching.